Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy, where I <laughs> have played this character for a bit. Um, yeah, I got up this morning and wanted to play, and then the neighbors were mowing the lawn, and it was very loud. And so I decided I couldn't record, but I did play this character, and they have picked up a number of relics, and so you can see them there. Um, it's also the case that before I entered this, I think that's the closest place to go. Yeah. Last episode, we defeated Enoch Prime, which meant we got a hint about a new scar. And so I saved on camera going to try to find it, but I wrote down notes about what it said. And I'm pretty sure I know where it's going to be. It's going to be on the bridge in that green room over there. Oh, there's a room over here. There's a few rooms over here, actually, that I haven't done yet. Um, since we're here, let's peek into these rooms. This will also just let me warm my fingers back up to playing this game. We have some pretty decent stuff. I changed out my talent a couple of times in order to get more resolve. I'm still hopeful that somehow, miraculously, I'm going to discover a war drum somewhere. Uh, because I have so many relics, a war drum would be amazing. Uh, but it doesn't appear to be here. But we'll go ahead and collect this chest while we're here. And it is safe. Oops, so oh, I... Alright, did not play that well. So, if I press the Use button, it creates this bridge, which brings us out here to this uh, telescope. Scratched apart by the Ashen Storm Clouds. Okay, so the hint that the Erebus guy gave me said something about dimensional platforms outside the observatory, take one step off, land on uh, a hidden platform in the ashen clouds and then west back toward the observatory so i think i need to okay i'm currently standing somewhere can i move the camera i cannot adjust the camera here so if i head west and press the button oh uh okay that did not work and i have to step off like exactly huh no wait what's going on here didn't i just do the exact same thing Hmm. Did I fall down straight from here? This worked before. I'm tempted to uh, come back on the screen and do it again in case it's something that can only be accessed one time or something. So I press the button. That appears. Step off. Now I'm... Um, hmm. I landed on a platform here earlier. Can I press the button and try to interact? No. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, here it is. Okay, so it's a very tiny platform. If I press the button to interact, I immediately fall off. Oh, I'm down to 171 hit points. Holy crap. <laughs> I was paying no attention to all the damage I was taking. I was just trying to find the secret. Um, okay, all of a sudden this character is about to die. I believe I've left furniture around in the usual places. So let's break some furniture and see if we stumble across a pizza. Chicken leg would help too, but I could really use the pizza, honestly. Um... Well, darn. This one's turning out to be more difficult to find than I thought it'd be. Okay, there's a chicken leg. That'll help. And actually, the health potion will help some, too. Let's over, head over to the Kerguelian Plateau. And the Sun Tower. So there was definitely a place where I could stand just off screen. Maybe I need to dash to the left after that? Because it said head west back to the... Uh, towards the observatory. I think I finished everything in the Kerguelian Plateau already, right? Yeah. 
Okay, Sun Tower. There should be a bit of furniture here, and then also down at Pizza Monday, I expect. So we'll see what we got. Nothing for me there. Or here. And Pizza Monday. Well, I got some more. <laughs> Not exactly what I was looking for. I guess the entrance to the Stygian study might also possibly have some food. And actually, there's more rooms in the Sun Tower. Hold on. I might be able to heal through vampirism if we play well. That's totally possible, right? Right. Okay, there's even furniture right here. Okay, I see the this thing. Good. Okay. Okay. I'm happy with my soul tether. Oops. Ouch. I'm happy with my thing that takes damage for me by consuming mana. Whose name escapes me right now? Okay, so we're we're not doing badly. Let's see if I can find any other places to get some health back. Uh, these guys aren't so bad. Uh, the Scooby Doobats, however. Uh, that did not kill all of them. Okay, there we go. Great. Oh, okay, that's fine. Good. All right, and there's a chest up here. I'm already back up to 1700. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, there's Scooby Doobat. Boo Bat, wherever you are. Bat. Oh, I don't want to be here. Okay, that's fine. All right, you're almost dead. Great. And you can also become dead soon. There we go. Okay, 2,000 hit points. Just like that. I think that's enough that I feel comfortable taking an attempt again to try to find this thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm back here. If I take a tiny step off the edge... Darn it, I didn't land on the thing. Do I have to stand here? Like, it seems so incredibly precise. There is somewhere that I was able to land. Maybe I should just, uh... I don't see anything, like, opening up over there. And I'm not sure exactly where it is, and I'm losing all my health again. This is ridiculous. So it was focused on the gatehouse. Okay, I'm standing here. So what happens if I dash to the left? There we go. <laughs> dash to the left, and then I press the interact button. And here's the scar. Irad is too erratic. His decision making has become unreliable. He keeps going down this path. Everybody in the Karulian Plateau will starve. I need to fix this. I need to save her. The two lovers. Oh my goodness. Are we gonna end up um, having to fight Nama and Enoch at the same time in a Scar Challenge? Alright, well, I found it. <laughs> And I see. It's, oh, there's another R here. Hold on. Oh, that caused the, oh, it's a diving bell of some sort that brought me around to the top and caused the platform to go here so I could come back. All right, that's interesting. Um, all right. I will take it. There's a scar challenge over here that might kill me. Um... But I'm not sure what else to do with this character right now. Uh, where was it? I think it was right here. Yeah. So let's go in here and see how this goes. Alright, you're dead. Grid. You two can become dead. Um, alright, I'm gonna hit you. Ouch. In there. Try to deal a little bit of extra damage with that. Got 800 hit points right now. Alright, carefully. Good. 
1,000 hit points. Starts with a 111, that's good luck. Alright, good. Oh boy, okay, careful. Uh, I didn't see you attack me from a distance. Very clever of you. 1,800 hit points, okay, this is going great. Alright, how to win at Rogue Legacy 2. Have tons of lifesteal and soul seal. Also have a bunch of good relics. Also be reasonably good at dodging projectiles. I think those are my keys to victory. The two levers, okay, neat. Oh, right, it didn't occur to me. There's kind of an order dependency here. I should have saved all the scar challenges until then. Okay, it looks like there's another room right down, down, down left. So let's check that out. Ah, uh, yikes, okay. Almost stood on some spikes, it's fine. Can I hit you through the wall here? I cannot. Uh, Searing Shot does go through the wall, however. And you're close enough, I can hit you through the wall. And then these chests... Okay, this in theory should be a very easy challenge. And so of course I'm going to take lots of damage. Okay, <laughs> made it out. And there's more rooms to explore. Alright, you're invincible, so I just need to avoid you. Soul Tether doing work. I've got the uh, Hourglass thing, which is a better relic than I realized. Um, it's not very good. What is it called? It's like the Red Hourglass or something? Red Sand Hourglass. Every five seconds, your next weapon attack deals 75% bonus damage. I didn't feel like it was very good. It would often be offered in the um, Scar Challenges as a bonus power-up, but those tend to be so short that every five seconds like seems like forever. Um, but as you're traveling between rooms, it almost always recharges, and so I walk into a room, and the very first enemy that I attack or kill, uh, I end up getting the bonus damage against, and so that's great. Uh, it occurs to me what I should be doing with this hero, which is we still have the second mini-boss of Pish and Dry Lake that needs to be defeated. And I might have already found the room to get there. I don't remember offhand. I found the dragon's room, and that's close to one of them. All right, well, let me go hunt around and see if I can find my way back. Okay, here we go. I found my way back to the boss room. I got 2,700 points. Let's try to do a thing. Right, I'm going to lose all of my standing platforms, and I don't have Hermes boots. So let's be wary of that. And right now I'm just kind of tanking damage, and I'm not sure that that's a good strategy, but apparently I've chosen not to try to pursue another one. Um, I should definitely use that as a ranged attack when possible, because why not? Alright, you're almost dead. Ouch. Alright, hurry up and go down. Thank you. Alright, you're gonna hit me. Ouch, I can get away. Alright, let's hit you with the Searing Shots, and another one, and then hit you with these. Alright, that knocked you back. Okay, now I can just finish it off. Great. Okay, it was messy, but we got it done. And I get a chest. Yes. The two levers. All right. Great. Great. Fantabulous. And now we can go fight Enoch and the dragon. So sure, why not? That's a good animation. I enjoyed that drawing. Um, I think the fastest way to him is just to do this. Since we can teleport directly to his room, and I have enough hit points that I'll heal back up to full. Alright. So yeah, we kind of flew through new game plus four. And I'm okay with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me in. I got a boss fight. Okay, uh, let's set him on fire. This is a 
is a good attack. As long as I don't get hit by the falling swords. Okay, he's summoned some bad guys. And these guys are going to be a pain in the neck to take out. Um, those can deal some extra damage. That'd be great. Alright, let's hit you with the searing shot. Uh, my Voltaic Circlet is preventing me from taking damage from that, so that's great. Okay, let's hit you with the searing shot, and might as well set up a couple of those. Dash. Alright, I need to get over you. Okay. Oh boy. Um, let's try to break through their shields. Big circlet's also doing some work there. Okay, that worked. Uh, searing shot. Dash. Okay, it's another phase transition. Let's get over to about here. Okay. Alright, this is going to be the swords. Yeah. Alright, just don't get hit by them. Ouch. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to win, but I could be playing better. But I suppose if I'm going to win, I shouldn't worry about it too much. So I'm going to tank some damage there, because he is done. Alrighty. Estuary defeated. Slip, slip, slip. Okay. And I think we got something that gave me more bonus damage against the traitor, so he should be easy to go down. So let's go ahead and, yeah, and his is a boss door that will heal me. So we can heal and go fight him. Great. Garden of Eden. Risk level question mark. And I already read all of those things. Any previous thread? Alright, Jonah. What do you got? Uh, let's hit you with the searing shot. Alright, Kotescu. Okay. Alright. I see Sharon's sight. Uh, Voltaic Circlet did some work on the pizzas, apparently, and I need to dodge away from that. Uh, that's a barbarian thingy. You're gonna do it thrice or twice. Oh boy. Alright, I set you on fire. Ah, here comes Sharon Scythe again. Uh, well, that was a barbarian thing, I was wrong. Alright, you got spoons. They're gonna bounce at me. Don't let them. Ah, darn it, that's Sharon Scythe. That's the barbarian thingy. Good. He just set you on fire. Uh, oh, Kotescu! Darn it. Alright, made us dash out of the second one, not the first one. Once again. Alright, it did set you on fire. Great. Uh, you're doing something. Ouch. Alright, well, I walked right into that. Uh, there's the chef one. Ah, I got hit by this one. Alright, here comes a whole bunch of pizzas, but it's not going to matter because you're going to go down before I get hit by them. Or maybe right around the time I get hit by them, but either way, you're going down. Okay. Fruit of Life. Woohoo! Traitor defeated. Yes, yes, yes. Let me advance. Thank you. Alright. And I think we heal up again when we go try to fight Kane. So, I'm not sure if I can take out Kane. I'm gonna have to play better than I have been playing, I think. Right, and I forgot that I need to go through this little cutscene. Witness a few of my predecessors. And by a few, I mean a lot. <laughs> Alright, but we do heal back up. Great. Alright, yeah. Hey, buddy. I brought you a fruit.
Betrayer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Alright, that's going to... Okay, do that. Alright, I'm just going to tank some of that because I'm not sure how to avoid it. Oh, and I totally did not avoid that. And now I need to get over you. And here's the perfect opportunity! Alright. Try to avoid some good-sized projectiles that way. Alright, use Tubal's crazy thing. And this I need to dash through and then dash through again. Oh, wait. I didn't dodge the second one properly. I'm gonna try this. Ah, oh, darn it. Alright, just focus. Try to avoid damage. Alright. Get out of the way. Put out a few of these to get rid of projectiles. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, I walked right into that. Alright, that's actually not bad. Ah, oh, darn it. I'm not sure what's coming. It's this. Okay. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, there are more bones. I thought it was just the big one. But there were a bunch of little projectiles as well. Yeah, I didn't play well. Oh, wait. I have a grave bell, but it didn't kick in. Okay. Christian 5 has been slain by Kane. How much money did I make? I hadn't really been paying any attention. Valkyrie's at max rank, by the way. Rank 17. So if we can increase our max rank, that could be good. Um, I made 927,000, so not a record, but close to it. A ronin with a sword? Yeah, no. I mean, a knight with a sword would just have better health. The ronin's main advantage is a katana. Like, a knight with a katana. That would be a good class. A uh, dragon lancer. A ranger. Who starts with a war drum. Hmm. I might actually choose this ranger, because they start with the war drum. Yeah, I'm going to choose the ranger. I don't like the ranger at all, but maybe we can swap out his weapon. Starting with the war drum is huge. Okay, I made some notes because I did pick up uh, some thingies that I like. So let's see. Um, what do I have written down here? Resolve rune is one that I definitely want. And so it would cost another... I would have to buy two more to get that. And then there is also possibly Might, Sharpness, and Retaliation. Um, retaliation would cost another 30. So that would be up to 5. And sharpen this weapon crit chance that would be another 30 so that would be eight okay so let's see if i can buy eight more of these thingies one two three four five six seven eight great and then i'm not sure i have enough red ether actually to do all of this um but i want it sharpened yeah i'm gonna run out of red ether very quickly here okay let's get the resolve then as the higher priority one next. And then at this point, I'm basically out of Red Aether. Okay, so Red Aether is still the limiting reagent, the way that things work. I did also get some equipment uh, that you would have, possibly. Um, so let's take a look. And I thought I was able to upgrade one of the ones I'm already wearing, but apparently that is not the case. Brown plus two, Sanguine plus four, and plus three. All right, so we'll just kind of sit on that for a bit, I think. Um, okay, and I still have 250,000 money. So what do I want to spend it on? I think I'm tempted to pour it all back into attack up again. Although, 
finding red ether and breakables, that's not a big deal. I do have my red ether maxed out over here. Yeah, let's pour it into attack up. Oops, wrong thing. Alright, that's as much of that as I can purchase, and... What else would help me? Relics cost less resolve. Great. Okay, so I have a character with a war drum. Um, that is super good. Architect has something to say. No more stories now, but maybe later. Uh, Ranger is an awful class to be starting a new challenge, so let's instead go to Spreading Poison, where I still need to uh, get all the rest of my stuff. Speaking of poison, let's add poison to our weapon. And then over here we have we could spin kick for armor break or reroll. Um, I think I prefer to reroll. Yeah, sure. Let's deal extra damage while the 50% health. And then finally, uh, I'm not going to crit very well with this weapon, and I don't love this. Although, it's only mid-sized projectiles. It's not going to help me enough during this one. Um, yeah, let's do this. Right? Yeah. I've come to appreciate the red sound hourglass more, and this is going to take me a while if I do manage to finish. Uh, I have Tesla whatever, by the way, so let's go ahead and get it down. Dealing some damage. Right, and I have Ivy Canopy. So the correct thing to do is to spore burst you guys all the way from my canopy that's not at all positioned correctly. And now it's going to take time to come back. Alright, I should try to poison all of you if I can. Canopy, come back. There we go. Uh, I need to dodge under this so it destroys those projectiles. Uh, this is going poorly. Very, very poorly. <laughs> very, very, very poorly. Alright. Well, killed one guy. That's good. You can become poisoned. Uh, those... Alright. Yeah. Um, I'm not good enough at the ranger. Let's at least see what the new challenge is. The two lovers. And let's go ahead and give ourselves both emphases. Defeat the forbidden couple. So yeah, it's gotta be Enoch and Nama. At the same time. I don't like either of these. So we'll take... Hmm. Weapon skill crits. Yeah, I'm never gonna get those. Alright, so we'll deal more damage. We will... I don't have enough mana for that, so we'll get more damage on the ground. And finally... Uh, weapon flies burn, sure. And now, thinking about the big picture... Um... Right. Thinking about the big picture, I can use my Ivy platform. Which of these two do I want to take down first? I don't even know. Hopefully there won't be nightmares to deal with. Interesting layout. Oh, interesting layout. Ah, okay, that's cool, actually. Alright. Uh, yikes. Oh, gosh. Alright, dash around that. Uh-huh, okay. There are those guys in the corners. Ouch. Uh, let's do this to get away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is gonna be so impossible. I mean, not just with this character. This is gonna be a tough fight with any of my characters, I think. Um, oh, I haven't used my Tesla Spike, so let's use it. Or we'll just die. That's also a possibility. <laughs> okay. Yuck. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Oh, this is the food of carries. May it help you on your journey? He's giving us uh, soul stones. If I say no, that way I get a chance to collect them. 
And now I'll say yes. So I think the Architect is possibly, and maybe the buoy, are possibly the only ones who have not given us soul stones. I might be misremembering. I think it makes sense, because I'm so bad at the Ranger, to begin in Citadel Agartha and see if we can um, find some relics and things to start things off. So I think that's my plan. And yeah, maybe we'll also find a better weapon. Also a possibility. Ouch. Oh gosh. Alright, so yeah. I should definitely keep you along for the beginning of this run. Because the beginning of this run might turn into the end of this run, depending upon how badly I play. Okay, I'm, I'm doing things. It's just the Citadel. I can one or two shot most bad guys. And as much as I complain about the Ranger, it's not as awful as I typically say. It's merely bad. Uh, let's go ahead and just create a platform so that I can spore burst you. Yeah, is there any chance there's somebody over there to hit? Apparently not. Oh, gosh. Alright. I should use spin kicks when I need to get rid of furniture or things that just need to go away quickly. So definitely put that in my repertoire. Um, I don't have anything that would hit through the wall. Yeah, I do. It's called a Tesla Spike. Don't forget about that. Very important to use all of your capabilities. So yeah, this is not my favorite spell, but it is a useful spell for where I'm at to start. And yeah, we can make some things happen. Alright. Don't be too fatalistic about the ranger. He started with the war drum. If we can find a weapon and some relics, this could turn into an amazing run. Who knows? I'm not good at timing the uh, ranger crit. I know if you fire it just when the arrow blinks uh, as you're drawing things back, you can get a skill crit. But I'm bad at timing in general, and so I think it's not worth my time trying to time that. Uh, that was the wrong button, and let's press this. Okay. Good. Alright, that was not great. You know what? Spin kicks. Maybe I want to use them all the time. Arrows can travel through multiple pieces of furniture, that's nice. Uh, that's gonna miss you. So we'll stand in your face. There's some red ether. That's always good. Alright, relics. 279% resolve. Koi's a shield. I love this one. Okay. Given that I can prevent some damage... That gives me a lot more confidence for a lot of stuff. Uh, let's just do this. Um, yeah. I could go to a zone other than the castle now. Other than Citadel Agartha. I have that confidence. Ugh. Hey, look! It's a nice chest. Very shiny. Cool. I think I actually got the crit there. I'm not sure if it was a skill crit or a random crit. Either way, I'll take it. Uh, this was a dead end. I didn't realize until just now. So yeah, what zone... Let's just teleport to a zone. Um, Kerguelian Plateau or Stygian Study. We'll try the Stygian Steady, because it's often the case that you can find the room of all the doors, one of which leads to a blessing of life and the other of which leads to a relic. And so that's one of the more predictable upgrade thingies that I could find. Alright, that worked well. Cool. I think I intentionally critted there.
Cool. Uh, Tesla. Great. Yeah, let's do that again. So if your guys to deal with it once. And then... Alright, that's acceptable. It's gonna be slow and difficult playing this character, but so far I'm not taking much damage. For whatever reason. Oh boy. Uh, Mimicant. You've got crazy teeth, as it turns out. So if you see a chest with crazy teeth, it's probably a Mimicant. Um, you guys are standing together. Ah, darn it, I missed. Alright, that at least still got some damage on you anyway. Oh boy. This is rough. Um, let's do this. Darn it. Alright, that was an awful place to put the ivy canopy. It was useless to me. Alright, we still managed to take out the soul lock. I can do this. Lifesteal rune. Okay, we need to make a note of that. Lifesteal. It's been committed to the notepad of destiny. Ouch. Yeah, I've been burned. Oh gosh. Good. Spin kick. I. Mm. Well, Koyas' shield ate the damage for me, so that was nice at least. Uh, this would be a great place to use a canopy, actually. Oh, it doesn't block uh, void projectiles. Of course it doesn't. Why would it? Uh, and there's a bunch of guys in here. Alright, but I killed one of them. Okay, this... This is playing better than I thought it would. It's not playing great, but it's playing better than I thought it would. Okay. Took out a Doombus. Uh, I see you over there. Ouch. So let's just go ahead and hit you with that. That'll weaken you a bit. And then let's go ahead and... Ouch. Well, that'll kill you. Retaliation runes are good for making up for some of my own weaknesses. Uh, I, I'm just standing in the damage field. Don't do that. All right, you're just as bad as an archer as I am, it turns out. <laughs> Which is saying a lot, because clearly I'm a very bad archer. All right, you're not a Mimicant, you're just a Mimic. Oh, I got hit by the coins, darn it. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Uh, that's a bad choice. There we go. I found a way to make it work. Oh, and chicken leg. Nice. I'm actually not taking that much damage. I know Koi's shield has blocked some of it. Oh, there was a chicken leg there. Mysteriously. Oh boy. Okay. Good dodge. Uh, missed. Uh, let's try. Oops. That didn't do what I wanted. Oh boy. Alright, that worked. Uh, okay, great. Got two shots off very quickly and then ran right into the attack. Brilliant. Okay, we're keeping our health up though. Oh, such a messy class to play. Okay, good. Um, you guys quit attacking me through the walls. It's not very nice. Have some of that. Gonna go after the Doombus. Ouch. Well, that's one way to go after it. Combat roll. Uh, hmm. ID Canopy is benefiting me while I have this, but this is good to know that it's here I come back to, so let's actually note where it is on the map. 
uh, kind of upper left-ish. After I change out my weapon, assuming I can do it, then combat roll is something I would want. But for now, the platform has good confluence with the bow. So I think we have to hold on to it for that reason. Oh boy. Uh, I think I'm going to struggle in that room, so let's just leave that room behind for now. Oh, you can climb these things, it turns out. Also, I can do bad things by doing that. Alright, genius. Exactly as I planned it. Okay. Good. Good. Oh gosh. Uh, let's hit you with that. Great. Oh boy. Nice. Oh boy. Alright, if you come my way, you'll walk into that and still not be dead. Darn it. There we go. Oh, I just fell into the coins. Koya's shield kicked in. Ah, come on, aim downward. Uh, I have an IV platform. Let's use it. There we go. Okay, there's no coins for me there. At least not that neat that I'd want to touch. Just the poison coins that I don't want to touch. Here we go. Here's the room we're looking for. I don't care for either of these, so I will reroll. I definitely like Hermes Boots, so let's take that. So War Drum is already up to 18%. It's 6% per unique relic. I'm definitely taking this. Uh, and I didn't need to use Koya's shield there, because the first one doesn't hurt all that much, but in the future, I should remember to charge up the shield before I eat the Blessing of Life. Um, platform. Oh, darn it. Really? Alright, I think I've fought... Hit, used 10 arrows to shoot that guy, and only two of them landed. Pretty embarrassing. Okay, good. That's not gonna work. That obviously isn't gonna work. Alright, so we just do that. And that. Found the boss room. Not very useful to us right now. Found this. I'm gonna do that. So right now I'm just trying to uh, get some health and mana back and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, and that's working great. Okay, so we're strong enough that um, even with imperfect play, we're doing a good job here. So let's go to the Sun Tower. IV platform, while I still have it, IV canopy, would actually help me in the Sun Tower. Somewhat. So it's good, well, I still have that to do that, but let's not forget that I have a combat roll available. Good. Alright, how do I get to the guy over to the right? Somewhere over here. And let's go ahead and... oh boy. Well, we have shield block that. Alright, Spore Burst ended up killing you. So that was totally worth the IV canopy. Oh boy. Well, uh, retaliation ended up killing you. Let's use some spin kicks. Even his attacks. Oh boy. Alright, you're dead. I can hide from your projectiles underneath my ivy canopy for a moment. You two are dead. Alright. Do I have to kill every bad guy? No. Am I doing it anyway? Of course. Uh, that's just a lore room, right? Yes. So there might have been something 
noteworthy out here, so let's take a peek. Oh, this is all one big room, and there wasn't any chests or anything. Okay. Okay, very good. Good. So here's a place where using the ivy canopy can just be convenient. It does mean I don't have it available for offense and defense up here right now, but we'll live. I've got a chicken leg in reserve. Canopy's still on cooldown. Yeah, I hit one of your projectiles. Alright, let's do this. Darn it. Okay. And chicken leg I actually don't need right now, but I'll go ahead and just eat it. Let's take a peek inside here. Um, sure. Why not? For all the ore and money and things. Otherwise, I'd never be coming back to that room. Take advantage while it's there. Alright, well, retribution, doing its thing. And can I hit you from here? Not quite. Can I hit you this way? No. Okay, so that's just not gonna work. Okay. What do we have over here? Looks like there's something back down. It is a room with some chests and a way out. Okay. Ouch. Good. Ouch. Got him. Okay, I'm... Oh boy. By no means great at this. But I'm not as awful as I thought I was going to be. What was out there? Uh, that actually is the way to go. But there's also more up here. I guess it's just a chest for me, really. Oh boy. And also death, if I'm not careful. And guess what? I'm not careful. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, made a giant mess of that. I think we're in a low enough health. Yeah, I'm gonna go farm some health. Um, I'll do some in some of the castle and earlier zones, and um, actually... Yeah, I can do some of that off-camera before next time, and we'll go back into some more difficult zones uh, when I'm back during the next episode. So I'm going to say I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again soon with more Rogue Legacy 2, where we are struggling to play a ranger. For now, bye-bye.